Yo, it's your boy Logos. And today I want to react to Sneeko is unironically stupid. After a few people recommended this to me in the comments of my previous video involving Morse Critical and Sneeko. I really don't know Sneeko that much. I just know that he started being heavy on the red pill recently. But outside of that, I know no history. I really don't know much of the stuff that Morse Critical will reference in this video. So hopefully this video that I'm reacting to today we actually go into detail about it. So let's get into it. Hello, everybody. I know it's been a while. I've been on a bit of a red pill binge lately. I've been watching this cute little twink boy named Sneeko. And you know what? He's really been waking me up, saying some stuff that seriously resonates with me. I just want to bully this guy. Like, <laughs> bring bullying back. Bullying is necessary. I couldn't <laughs> agree more. Sneeko is a thought leader. He God lives by damn. He is digging. He like a whole bunch of mice in a cage trying to get out, just wriggling back and forth. And even like the point of his finger just touching through the roof of his nose. God damn. Trying to seek the truth, even though he can't explain what that truth is. My motto for the stream is seek truth through funny. I want to be able to tell the truth. Okay. You don't talk about the issues that you don't, you don't question the powers that be and you don't talk about the uncomfortable truths that are really uh -huh. happening. I've always said this on my stream. If they hide it, then it's the truth. If they have to delete it, then it's the truth. He's made a career off of suckling off the success of Andrew Tate. I want to be the top G one day. I want to be there. Tate is currently under investigation for human trafficking and has admitted to holding women's passports hostage. And Sneeko's just like, eh, it's normal. They should just ask for it back. It's Hold on, did Tate, wait, I think Tate was, Tate. did Tate actually say he took their passports? Yes, he did say that. Okay, so that's how they can't leave then. He actually takes the passports. And he the probably fuck? lies and he says it's for tax reasons. I think you're Silence. blazing right now, bro. Silence, he got nothing to say to that. Why would you take away their passports? If they want to stay, they'll just stay. You can provide for them, they will just stay. I don't understand why would you take their passports. They could have asked for it back. <laughs> oh, this women. motherfucker. Destiny. Oh, oh, he already stuck on stupid. Really? Have you not seen Andrew Tate? You muscle, because you dick ride him, apparently. He is jacked as hell. He is a cake boxer. I think you won a title from kickboxing. Like, come on, really? You expect these nice feminine women to just go up and be tough with Andrew Tate and say, give him my fucking passport back? Hell no. Nah. And most are going to say, could you please give me my passport back? Like, you're not being nice right now. You're making me feel real uncomfortable and you're being an asshole. Okay? Could you just give me my passport back? Like, I, I brought my friend here like your ass. And this is not how I expected you to behave. Can you just, can you just please get, <laughs> get a passport? Like, they're not gonna go out and be tough. Nah, the fuck is he talking about? Do you not hear about the podcast? You have selective hearing. You don't hear about how many times these women were acting up and they kicked him out because they didn't know how to obey. Based. What you just said sounds Whoa. like sex trafficking, my dude. I don't know how you don't understand that. That's what you deep down need to do, is be a submissive wife who bleeds once a month and cries at movies. Fat lying piece of sh I would beat the f out of you. Your dumb mouth that I want to that He gotta chill. That is a gorgeous woman. And he out here acting like a straight up beast. It's something. It's comedy. It's funny. And crack some jokes and stuff like that. Ha ha! Woo ha! This is go- I asked in the last video I see on drugs. I'm still waiting for a definitive answer. It's gonna be a fun video. You see, Sneeko isn't very good at building arguments, so let me point you to people who are good at building things. Like PCs! Meta PCs! <laughs> Is your P okay, I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna let it- I'm gonna let it ride and play. For one, I'm using his content, and he seems like a f nice, funny dude. And for two, I love gaming PCs and I love video games. So this is right up my alley. So fuck it. You see crusty and disgusting like mine? There's a blue screen every time you try and run Premiere. We don't have to live like this any longer. Meta PCs is the gold standard of pre-built gaming computers putting together some of the cleanest builds out there. My favorite part about Meta is how you can tailor the build to your liking. Picking out the exact graphics card and CPU you want. Listen, all in fairness to him getting his money, but if I gotta build a PC online, I'm probably not gonna use them. First, I'm going to check around for prices and compare them. And I'm going to check, check out Asmongold and his company that he just started up. Because for one, I'm a fan. I'm biased. But I'm more biased to my fucking bank account. So if his shit overpriced, I'm not getting this shit either. I don't give a damn who you are. 
want without having to spend time searching for Saudi's nuts for a good deal online. And the customization is fire. This is my rig and hot damn is it sexy. That's nice. How much you pay for it? And Meta is a veteran owned and operated business right here in the United States and the quality reflects that. The computer is clean, organized, and ready to go right out of the box. All I had to do was plug in the graphics card, which Meta had a step-by-step -step YouTube video on, and even a manual to help me out. Look, if you're going to be spending PC money, make sure it's done by professionals who will do it right. Use code Willy with the link in the description to get a special discount on your Meta PC. Free Willy. Thank you Meta PCs for sponsoring this video. Now where were we? Oh yeah, our favorite soy boy Sneeko. Who is this cute little lesbian and how tight is oh. her pussy? Sneeko's content Jesus. message largely revolves around destroying women. He loves watching these street interviews. It's what he bases his entire worldview off of. Why are the women who say they won't settle okay with settling for living and dying alone with a dozen cats. They're egotistical. Damn. And they don't want to ever admit that they need a man or that maybe they failed in the dating game. They'll occasionally do street interviews himself to try and prove that women can't think logically. Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna sound so like privileged white girl of me, but I'm not that into politics, so I don't have much <laughs> okay. say on that. Neither, middle, Honestly, I don't neither. know. Okay. Both you say neither, so should women vote? Yeah. Yes, 100%. He thinks that I see the point you're trying to make, but it doesn't really work because there are a lot of men who don't know shit about politics and they just go off emotion and the shit they get told by a politician that they just like and they run with it. So it's not just women like her or those two. It's, it's a lot of people of every gender. And by every gender, I mean the two genders. The fuck? That's an own. He thinks that since these girls don't personally vote, then no woman should vote. They are so goddamn delusional, and we still put up with it. They will never, they'll never learn. They won't. They don't have to. Sneeko will take random moments of some girl getting stopped in the street and asked a basic ass question like, hey, is everyone special? And she'll say yes. Sneeko will then freak out. Special. Everybody's special. You're special on your own. Oh my God! Every <laughs> single time! Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do anything you want to do. Can't just make up a reality in her head. She can, because she's a woman. Men can't just make oh. it up. I'm a king. No, we should... You... <laughs> Give me the castle, pussy. That's what happened. Exactly. Okay. So I think Sneeko is pretty dumb so far, but there is a point here. I don't think everybody is special because if everybody is special, then special doesn't exist. Everybody is just the same. Maybe you could say you're unique because of the time period you're in, your background, your childhood, who raised you, how you were raised, all these multiple different factors, whether you have friends or not. Whether or not you decide to go this way or the other, like that stuff, like that could make you unique, but special, like fucking glitz and glamour and sparkles and all this bullshit, all this Disney Channel bullshit, Disney movie BS. I really don't go with that. Modern female delusion every single time with the. The little illusion. Who is this guy kidding? If anyone was stopped randomly and asked these sort of contradicting questions, they would get caught up in it. As Sneeko himself. I would argue that our society is the least- It is! Women have the most rights ever. Right now. And they still act like they're, they're oppressed. They have more rights today than they've ever had. But so do black people, so do you think black people shouldn't try to fight for more? Oh, that was a good question. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah. But racism is not natural. Patriarchy is natural. That's biology. Racism is based in just hatred. Yeah, Sneeko, the film school <laughs> dropout is going to tell us how biology is related to human... Hey, I'm going to tell you right now. If you are any person on this planet, do not get your philosophy from freaking Sneeko. Or f honestly, probably from almost any quote-unquote influencer. I despise that term. But don't get your freaking philosophical advice from people like Freya Sneeko, especially. Right. Yo, is this person f retarded? Yes. Sneeko is someone who will often project while reacting to videos. He's usually just describing himself. Damn, she's dumb. 
This is when a girl only knows how to disagree. She got triggered by a question, and I know women, all she's gonna do is look to disagree now. As soon as you trigger them, they stop making sense. They just need to fight you. This is Sneeko. He argues right. points that make zero sense just because he's too proud to admit he's wrong in a debate. I've seen this guy argue that seatbelts make vehicles more unsafe. Seatbelts do too. Do you, do, you wear a seat, do you wear a seatbelt when you drive, or do you not give a fuck about that? I have this thing where you could put a seatbelt like thing you could buy on Amazon. This is like advice for the chat. You can get like a seatbelt thing on Amazon that clicks in and then it gets rid of the beeping sound. Okay, so you don't wear seatbelts either. Do you think seatbelts make you safer when you drive? That is not a good thing to do. Like, I could say even me personally, I used to hate wearing seatbelts. <clears throat> Especially when I was younger. Excuse me. I used to hate wearing seatbelts. But as I got older and started actually driving, I wear seatbelts every time I get in the car. A seatbelt every time I get in the car. Not multiple seatbelts. But that's because I value my life. And it's so easy to die in a car accident. We think we're invincible, but until you get injured or you just come to reality, you see how vulnerable the human body really is. And you don't want to mess up your back or any other part of your body just because you want to be a dumbass and not wear a seatbelt and feel like you're in goddamn too fast, too furious. You're, you're nothing but too much of a dumbass. That's it. Too fast, too dumbass. Fuck out of you. There's some circumstances where a seatbelt actually restricts you and traps you inside the car. You can see accidents. There are some circumstances some where somebody could the, collision. Yeah, you get mad interrupting. And I yeah, there are circumstances you can, you can, where. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Desi, let him finish. Yeah, go ahead. You can go get ahead. into a, a collision, and if you have a seatbelt on, then some you can get trapped in the car, and the car can catch on fire. But sometimes, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, there's. An oh, okay, but you don't have to worry about getting catch on fire because the impact will send your stupid ass flying into the next block. You fuck. Hey, I love how Chad's going off. <laughs> they really going off right now on the left side of the screen. And I love it. I've been watching Twitch since forever. And the, I think Twitch chat is pretty toxic. But it's also pretty damn hilarious, depending on what channel you're in. Instances where people have, like, literally flown out the, uh, the windshield because they weren't wearing a seatbelt and they survived. But a seatbelt could trap you in there. How many times? You know what's funny? He'll, he'll make that dumb fuck argument, but at the same time, he'll make fun of women who will say like, my one friend, or I know somebody who accomplished this or did this, that goes against the other majority percent, and he'll go off against them, but he'll say some nonsense about seatbelts and your life. Like I said, do not take any advice from people like him. What do you think is more common? Do you understand statistics or probability? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's more common. He knows he's wrong. He just won't man up and admit it. Exactly. He's so stupid. He thinks Hitler isn't a Nazi. Hitler. You think that like Hitler, or, um, not Hitler, Kanye was joking when he said that he liked Hitler though? No, he's being truthful. But he was saying something provocative on purpose. The overall idea, see, people say like, oh, look, he's a Nazi. No, he's not. He's black. Yeah, he's not a Nazi. That's the point. Okay. Yeah, but you said he, he can't be a Nazi because he's black. Okay, that's, but he's not a Nazi. Oh, wait, but not because he's but not because black. he's black, just for other reasons. Well, you can't. You also can't be a true Nazi. You have to be blonde hair, blue eyed. Even Hitler wasn't a true Nazi. Or like a neo Nazi, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that. Oh my God, he's so stupid. How is Hitler not a Nazi? He was literally the head of the government for Nazi Germany. Are you serious? I guess he's really trying to say alien, the blonde hair, blue eyes, alien race. And I don't even know if he's right or not. Uh, yeah, I think Bl um, Hitler had black hair. But regardless, I don't understand the point he's trying to make. If that's how you're defining Nazi, Nazi becomes a useless statement. Because if we can't even call the leader of the Nazi movement a Nazi, then... Nazi <clears throat> By his own definition, he, he couldn't be... He wasn't part of the master race, so... Yeah. That's not... Is that, that's two different things. And nobody's a Nazi, so it doesn't seem like that's a good definition of Nazi. Owned by a woman? Cringe? Sneeko is so stupid, he doesn't even know the difference between an Aryan and a Nazi. Thank Sneeko you. is so stubborn, he won't even admit the leader of the Nazi party was Come a Nazi. On. As soon as you trigger him, they stop making sense. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> not better than men, but we are better than men. Imagine if I said that shit, if I said, no, men are better than women. And you go, why? Just because, no, nah, it's, it's my personal opinion. I'm just better than you. Like, <laughs> yeah. as a gender, I'm just better. He does do that all the I'm time. I'm about to say, I Literally feel like he in does. the same video, he does that. If I said that, I would have a million reasons as to why men are better than women. 
like more physically capable, smarter, faster, more capable of leading. You got to feel bad for this chick. You can just see the smile falling from her face. <laughs> just like <laughs> she was just on this. You had me on the first half, not going to lie, but in the second half, you fucked up. Built better. We don't have extra body fat. We don't get pregnant Damn. for nine months and get all emotional once a month. Oh I my can... God. Oh, gee. come on, bro. See, this is where the red pill takes it too far. Like, are you really going to make fun? Are you really trying to make a joke out of him getting pregnant? Really? <laughs> Come on. Come in with reasons. And she never came on his stream again. Hmm, I wonder why he's single. She doesn't know how to submit. Fem feminism has brainwashed these girls into thinking that they need to be all woke and shit like that. What you really want is a good man to fuck. <clears throat> Yeah, come here, shut the fuck up with your feminism. Shut up. Oh. Shut up, Chad, Chad. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah chill. That's what you need. You need that. The women are already pretty much <laughs> run by the state. Women are easy, easier to manipulate. Men are more capable of independent thought. It is what it is. I know that might sound misogynistic. Men are the philosophers. Men are the thought leaders. Stop believing in this feminist garbage. We're not equal. You're weaker than me. You, you're hormonal. You're supposed to have children, and you don't want to. What is happening? He sounds like some Al-Qaeda <laughs> politician. Yeah. Women, no driving, no working, only meant for bleeding. That's what you deep down need to do, is be a submissive wife who bleeds once a month and cries at movies. <laughs> you are more emotional. You know why? Because women are weaker. Chad, Chad, me and you, we get in the cage. Who's winning in a fight? I'm just saying. Oh, oh yes, Nico, God. you can beat up a woman. Really manly of you, dude. I, I oh, he is, he is insane. Listen, it is true that these feminists say, who say that women are equal to men in terms of strength and athletic ability are full of shit. But in my opinion, the whole point of us being stronger is to be able to defend the women and children that we choose to care about. Not just any broad on the street but the people that we choose to care about and love. And that's how you should be using your strength and your fortitude. Not to just throw it around and say I'm better than you, but to be a leader, to be guiding people, to be able to take shit on the shoulder, to be stoic. Stoicism doesn't mean be an asshole to the woman that you're with or women in general. I present to you the Ray Rice Award. What's wild is this lady never said that women can beat up men. All she said was that men can get emotional too, which is true. Sneeko once cried yeah. on stream because Brandon Buckingham called him a cuck and challenged him to a boxing match. What would you think if that happened to you, chat? What would you think if that happened to you? The dude was so sad he had to open a window. The oh, fuck? God, man. Bro, bro, we talked about this in the last video. It is nobody's fault else but your own that you decide to have your wife get passed around like a piece of meat for four different times. I don't know how many days, but four different times at a sex party. You decided to be a cuck. And then you decided to tell people about it for whatever reason. I don't freaking know. Maybe because you're on drugs. Maybe because you're insane. Or you just wanted content. Either way, it was an L. You can't get mad at people for saying that. He said what you are. You watch your girl get bent over, backwards, upside down, sideways, left, right, and center, north, south, east, west, west, sound up, shout out to Patrick. Like, really? You can't get mad at people for bringing that stuff up. You got cucked out. You let it happen, and then you told people about it. If you're going to do that, at least shut the hell up. Because there's no way in hell you thought that was just going to be a cool, normal thing. I don't know how big your ego is where you think people are just going to be like, yeah, uh, of course I would want watch my girlfriend get fucked by multiple dudes. And his girl look good, too. And I'm pretty sure she got some. She got, she got bent over backwards and rotted out by some cut up niggas just just slamming fucking dong in her bro and he had to <laughs> he had to watch that shit and just sit there and like he didn't give a fuck until he eventually ran out but he still did it four times so clearly either he's so cut out or he need that girl so bad he just let it happen 
But if they're not together, he literally just got cut for nothing. This is insane. They gonna get mad at us for 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 laughing and bringing it up. That's that, you did it. He ain't make this shit up. You you literally cut yourself. He was holding. She didn't cheat on you. You went there. You escorted her to the dick. And you want to get mad at us? Get mad at yourself, nigga. Back tears on stream. The same people. It's like the most hate comes from like. Wow, not so tough when having to deal with a guy that would beat the fuck out of him. But woman, yes, yes, he'll he'll fight a woman. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I feel like Sneeko hates women because he's very close to identifying as one. I'm gonna read this tweet from Jeremy and I want to see if this correlates to Sneeko at all. Loads of right wing commentators are either closeted gays or tranny chasers. Look, I yeah. accept and support them, but many of these people you think are based in red pilled love trans cock, or well, oh. cock in general. Deal Jesus. with it. I mean, what other straight guy has so many half naked photos of himself? He was jerking off in front of a male photographer, laying next to another man's ass. As a That's kid, he gay. wore his sister's dress. Did I mention gay? he was touching oh. his finger in front of a male oh. photographer? This was oh. uncensored. I had to God. censor this. He was half oh my God. for you, sure. That's fucking, hold on, I'm gonna pull my fucking keyboard. I don't care what you say now. I can see why you let your wife or your girlfriend get fucked. Because you wanted to get fucked by them too. What the fuck? You, Jesus. He had to run out of the building because he wanted to be the one getting plowed. And he, he all he could resist was by running. Are you really, are you serious right now? That picture exists. I'm not going back to it because I'm disgusted. It had to show up on my screen to begin with. And he had to censor it. Oh my goodness. Please, for the love of Christ, subscribe to this motherfucker. Just because of the fact that he had to look at this man nasty little shit. Or whatever the fuck he got. He had to look at it to, to and censor it for this video. He had to look at it and censor it himself. Cause this motherfucker wanna to touch his stuff in front of a male photographer. You're not you're not just getting cut. You're just flat out in the closet. And that's fine. Just come out cause this is absurd. He has stories of these old guys eating out his girl while his peener is still in her, meaning other Whoa. men have licked his wiener. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh shit. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Oh. That's, that's just, that's next level. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, cr oh that's crazy, yo. Never in my, <laughs> never in my life. Never in my life. Oh, shit, I catch my bro. Bro, why, why is that public knowledge? I can't take it. Oh. Damn, why does this nigga foot like Kevin Durant feet? God damn, what the fuck? Long foot ass motherfucker. So while I'm like hitting it from the back, he lays down on the floor and starts licking her. But think about like the logistics Your of that. dick is that close think to that? Exactly, think about the logistics. Like his head is like under, it's like six inches. Like his eyebrows are like tickling the bottom. And I have to like move, like go like that so I don't make contact because his eyebrows are like tickling. You only got to look at this guy for a minute. Okay, so if his eyebrows is tickling, what is his mouth doing to you? You know what? I'm sorry that I gave you and me that image, but think about it. I'm sorry for saying that too. Don't think about it. I always scar myself. Let's move on. To realize he's crying out for help. You see, once on stream, he admitted oh, he caught a friend using the app Grinder. I realized halfway through the ride, I'm like, oh, she left his phone. I pick up his phone from the, from the passenger seat. I look up. Two notifications from Grinder chat. 
He had two notifications from Grinder. I'm not gonna bring it up. That's the option that I'm clicking. Just ign you just say you're not gonna bring it up, but you literally bring it up on Twitch chat, on Twitch.com. I mean that TV. They really just do that. Ignore it and keep pretending that he's straight. <laughs> I want to keep living in the lie. Why is that not an option? Keep living in the lie. This is sad. Sneeko, you Jeez. would be accepted. Jeremy accepts you. Who is this cute little lesbian and how tight is her pussy? Well, folks, oh. it's time to kick it old school. As you've already Jeez. seen, Sneeko isn't the brightest. He completely ignores all facts, logic, and common sense when it comes to things that yeah. challenge his core values, and Andrew Tate <laughs> is definitely one of them. He's said multiple times that he wants to be the next Andrew Tate. I'm trying to be that. I want to be the top G one day. When the Tates got banned off YouTube, Tristan passed the torch to Sneeko, and he completely creamed himself. I'm gonna continue living the life. So, Sneeko, young man, if I disappear, I'm passing the torch to you. Keep spreading the message while it's still relevant to talk. Kristen Tate said he passed me the torch. <laughs> I, just see, I just want to see this man fucking mentally orgasm over this, over this shit. Keep spreading the message while Jesus. Like, look at him. He can't contain him. So look, look, exactly. I didn't mean to do that on purpose. We called him a mid epiphany. Like, he really think he just climbed to Mount Olympus like Kratos. Kristen Tate said he passed me the torch. It's not going to be easy, but they won't die out because truth will always prevail. Wow, inspiring. This would skyrocket Sneeko's career. In a lot of ways, he was Tate's successor. His growth became tied to Tate's success. So that means that Sneeko has to side with Andrew Tate on every point, all the time. For instance, Andrew Tate gets investigated for sex trafficking. It's an ongoing case, so I can't blame people for picking sides and coming to their own conclusion. However, I think when it comes out that Andrew Tate is holding women's passports so they can't leave, we could all be a little critical of that. Sure. Yeah. Hold on. Did Tate? Wait. I think Tate was Tate. Did Tate actually say he took their passports? Yes, he did say that. Okay, so that's how they can't leave. Then he actually takes the passports. And he probably lies and he says it's for tax reasons. I think you're glazing right now, bro. They could have asked for it back. They kicked <laughs> out many women. Destiny, do you not hear about the podcast? You have selective hearing. You don't hear about how many times these women were acting up and they oh kicked him out because they didn't know how to obey. He's such a simp for Andrew Tate. He cheers Candace Owens on when she says he's probably not a rapist. Ran in an article last night. Come on, Candace. Was a transcript of a woman basically basically saying that she didn't want to get a tattoo. Allegedly, all of the girls that Andrew Tate is with, they have a tattoo of his name on their body. And she says, no, I want to like keep my body pure. And he's like, well, I'm paraphrasing here. If, if you're going to be with me, your body belongs to me and you need to get this tattoo. I do not find that to be evidence that he is a rapist. Wanda Owens in the chat. Really? This is what he's clapping for? The bar is set that low, huh? Yeah, he's yeah. forcing at best. Hey, about to say the, the bar is pretty low because, like, I don't understand the need to get your name tatted on somebody to show your dedication. That just seems stupid and weird to me. And I don't understand why he needs every girl that he be with to just do that. Uh, nah. Asked his employees and at worst trafficked women to get his name tattooed on them and we're just ignoring that. But it's not evidence that he raped anyone. Classic Tate W, Andrew Waite in the chat. Candace Owens would then explain <laughs> how her friend talked to Tate at a dinner party years ago. She spent a lot of the time that we were there talking to him, right? They were having a conversation. He spoke to her. And at the end of this dinner, as I am not paying attention because I've got butterflies in my stomach and I'm falling in love with my husband, she comes over to me afterwards and she says, this guy, uh, Andrew Tate, I think he's a pimp in Romania. I said, what? And she's like, no, I think he's like actually a pimp in Romania. And I'm sitting here going, I don't even know what they're talking about. You notice the difference in how men are treated now? You know, pimps back in the 70s used to be extremely respected men. Pimps used to be looked at and revered because they were an example of people who were self-governing, who controlled a lot, oh. they were powerful. Like, how is this his takeaway? Do some critical th oh, Shit. Oh, shit. Did you really just try to pull a, libert a libertarian card out of his ass and compare that to pimps? Like, really? C come on, man. <laughs> Are you serious? 
Hey, have y'all seen that Dave Chappelle joke where he had that conversation with the pimp, I think, and he said how he was able to get his bottom girl to stick around after he, like, he tricked her and stuff? Like how he, he manipulated her mind? He ain't talking about some self-governing. Like, like, it, like it's so fucking Lewis and Clark, Thomas Jefferson, Liberty Bell type shit. Really? Really? Self-governing. Self You think them niggas voted? Fuck it. Thinking for one second. I wonder why Andrew Tate has been lying, going on all these podcasts, saying he isn't doing this webcam shit anymore. About the webcam business. I'm not even in that. I haven't been in that business for like six years. When he still is. Fucking it lie. wasn't until he was arrested and people realized he was still doing this shit, lying the whole time. Sneeko. Of course. Why would he stop? He was doing it before and people still got on them. Like, he still got on his train, they still believed him, they still followed him. Why would he stop? He'll just add y'all money on top of the money he's already having. I don't understand why y'all expected him to stop. There's no indication. Just because he said it doesn't mean you gotta believe it. Come on, man. If he's a top G and he's ruthless, what makes you think he's not gonna be ruthless to you? Come on, man. It's like the whole... Well, I don't know what the university he'll have, but like, come on, man. If... If your influencer that you love so much, I hate saying that word influencer, but either way, if that person wouldn't do something that they're telling you to do, don't do it. I'm not buying no fucking courses how to get pussy. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather buy it than that. You would think Andrew Tate doing that? No. Just like everybody else was lied to. He had no idea. Hey, and Tristan, they don't do the webcam business anymore because the message is bigger. The Tates got rich by pimping. They didn't have an audience. Now they do, and they're off to better things. Well, they're still pimping. Is he trying to say they pimp so they could be philosophers? And Sneeko hasn't said a word about it. I understand that Andrew Tate hasn't been found guilty yet, but Sneeko isn't even the least bit critical. He sucks his dick at every opportunity, defending him over every small criticism. Andrew Tate yeah, gets made fun of for his terrible music. That's me, that's me, big, big, big bosses, Mr. Plenty. It stunk, it was annoying. It was basic as hell. Yeah, the song sucks ass, it's awful. But watch how Sneeko defends his boy. You know what? I don't think you should be able to fucking make music reviews if you can't make a song yourself. You've never made a song. <laughs> so I, I, I pray to whatever he prays to that he never, ever has any critique of anything that ever exists on this planet before, after or present day. Because you don't create every single thing you criticize. So why you want to just suddenly pull that card out your ass like the libertarian one where you want to defend your nigga? Come on, man. I have no problem with Andrew Tate because some of the stuff he does say I do agree with. But I'm not going to sit here and dick right him with everything he does and all the stuff he did in his past either. The evidence is the evidence. And I'm finna, I'm finna just sit here and wait. Either way, I'm not finna just pull excuses just to, I don't know what, cover for his image. You're not his publicist. Calm down. Song. What the fuck do you know about music? And then legitimately, the next day, Sneeko Pearl clutches and cries about Critical's music. Same. Promoting drugs. I got my balls, slap my face, ready to go. He, okay, did you see the antichrist on his forehead? Upside down cross? What? What is that? And this is this is the reason I started believing in God. When people that look like this <laughs> start promoting Satanism. You go, so let's fornicate. Ready to go, so let's fornicate. Ready. Okay, promoting sin. Is he real? This guy's such a loser. He's gargling Andrew Tate's balls. Don't make fun of Mr. Tate's music <laughs> unless you make music. Andrew Tate is the best. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's crying like a Christian soccer mom over a joke song. I don't get it. Aren't you the edgy joke guy? Yeah, the it, fact that you take this shit serious. so literally is embarrassing. What is, what is the, is, I don't, is it supposed to be funny? Yes. Is it yes. supposed to be degenerate? Yes, that's yes. the joke. Did he get a call from someone on Epstein's Island to promote Satanism? Andrew Tate this guy wanted to be a comedian, yet joke police is Charlie. Pick a lane, dude. He then <laughs> gets mad because Charlie says he's buffer than Sneeko. So Sneeko, being the brave man that he is, wants to fight five foot six Charlie. I'm not calling him small. I'm saying he has no muscles. He's probably taller than me. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. But hit the gym. Andrew Tate preaches getting a better physique. You really body watching right now? You're body shaming, but you can't fight, pussy? 
How do you go There's body shame and you, you scared of a fight? You got nothing to now. talk about. I'm not watching your fucking clips. Tell that to your chat. Let's pull up. Were you in Tampa? Say that shit to my face. I ain't watching no clips on Twitch on a bot platform. I know you're listening to me right now. You in Tampa? Tell that shit to my face. If you really stand on it. If you're a real man, stand on it and tell me to my face. To the guy, to Miami. Hey, do you still have... Because he said you need to go to the gym and add more muscle. You want to pull up right here and try to fight him and maybe shoot him as we see. How old are you mentally? And he has fans. And look, they, look at these fuzz going off in the chat. And they'll probably say, yeah, look, look W. Sneeko, W. Sneeko, so gay. Like, these are 13, 12 year old little kids and they hype this stupid fuck up. Because he just said, you are not as buff as you could be, especially compared to Moist Critical, who is only 5'6", five, 5'4", five, five, whatever the fuck it is, is shorter than you, and you still got more muscle than you. And your ego is so fragile that you want to try to pull up on them for that, instead of just going to the gym, getting buff, and then showing up out of nowhere with a nice ass body, and you train to fight. And then just because you train to fight doesn't mean you have to fight people because your ego or your feelings hurt. But that's his mindset. He'd rather just be angry and lash out like some of the same women he loved to talk about instead of just saying, you got a point. I can get bigger and I want to get bigger because I love the grind. And teach that to your audience. Instead of being an emotional dumbass. Have me unmuted on Rumble, Sneeko. To the, to the Rumbler that said I'm built like Spongebob. Hey, <laughs> yeah, when he had anchor arms, baby, look at that. Oh, is Sneeko hurt again? Hey, this comedy sucks, by the way. Say, where you got? Where you got anchor arms? <laughs> and I was a jerk <laughs> before I got anchor arms. I always ask girls, what do you mean by football? What does that mean? It means like you, you look like you don't text back. You look like you play with girls' emotions for sex. Thank you. <laughs> At least I'm not a nerd anymore. Oh. Uh. You don't just get to choose which ones to follow, which ones to go. You gotta stay consistent. You know, I think everybody has these preconceived perceptions, and they follow that, and they stick to that. You gotta think outside the box, man. You see how comfortable the room is now. I'm talking about that and stuff like that. Is that okay? I feel like a lot of you. I don't know. We're just kind of dying, no? I feel that. I feel awkward. Chat in the back. But you fucking suck. If you were, if you was a good comedian, you would have used them talking in the back as ammo to fire off a funny ass joke like Bill Burr or Dave Chappelle or any other good comedian could do. Or even you don't have to be that level of Hall of Fame status. If you're just a roaster, you could just roast them. Like you're, you're just not funny. You're just a dumbass. Is the stand-up comedy or a TED talk? But think about it, come on, like that, that lady down south with the pink lot, she's probably going to be homophobic, right? And we always act surprised when they go on TV, they say something, and they get Oh no, he did it! He's, st he's still in a Bill Burr joke about the freaking um, dynasty. One of his best jokes, and he for the really said, it. Are you surprised when the people down there got a Glock and they're homophobic? What do you think they thought? Like, are you really finna do that? Like, really, just because you change it up to like they got fired, like, come on. And you're not even funny with it, you don't have the same cadence, you don't have the same rhythm or timing, you're just a, just a copycat. And, alright, what up? Fuck it. Fire? Fuck it. Like, what did you think that she thought, this lady down south? You think that she was going to have some progressive beliefs about gender norms and about... The oh, world? my God. Like, if she... If my daughter Sally she's trans, I'd be fine with it. That's not how they think. Just like you guys up here think that there's 40 genders. Let's see what the judges think. Um, I just don't really... I, I kind of stopped following, like, how it was yeah, Damn. Basically where I'm at, too. All right, so I got to ask, though. How many genders are there? <laughs> how many genders are there? <laughs> Sure. Yo, when the judge is funnier than Sneeko's comedy routine. I'll never be cool. Don't get what I want. I'm a noodle. I'm way lamer. He really did steal a Bill Burr joke. Who is he? Carlos Mendoza? Who the dude who got caught stealing jokes saying Joe again called him out? I think Carlos 
something. I can't. The last thing is slipping. Then you I'll never be cool. I just want to reiterate how much of a bitch this guy is. He's somebody that will act all tough, but as soon as somebody steps up to the plate, he shifts the goalposts. For instance, he gets a video made on him by Mr. Beard, who didn't want to debate Sneeko live. So Sneeko, even though he couldn't refute any points, twists it into being a victory. This guy is, look, look at him bottom left, another one of the fucking faggots who afraid to debate. Turkey Tom then makes a video <laughs> on Sneeko, and Sneeko challenged him to a debate. Only this time, Tom accepts the debate. Sneeko then ghosted Tom with his excuse being that he wants to go on a bigger streamer show. Sneeko then gets into a fight with Charlie, and Charlie has a bigger audience than him too. So Sneeko has to shift the goalpost yet again to where Charlie has to meet him in real life. Otherwise, it's just another classic Sneeko W. Chat, I don't want to, I'm not reacting to a stream. This guy's pissed me off, and you can tell him this. I want to meet him in person. 17K Rumble W. You're such a stupid ass child, man. Like, you Really? You can't just have a debate of ideas. You want to meet him in person for what? You are intellectually in the before you meet him, you'll be the same once you meet him. That time it takes in between of you actually getting that person makes no difference. You could have met him that same night online and have a debate. You're just a coward. W's in the chat not only for this guy being a fucking pussy, but also for the fact that I just lapped you on Rumble. Yeah, man, you get like 20k what? views a video. It's not impressive. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than you know risk. My manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. So now it's suddenly cool to just stay at home and keep it all online. You know what? I'm realizing the people Sneeko's down to fight, it's coming off as a bit pussy to me. He's down to fight two women. Me and you, we get in the cage. Who's winning in a fight? Monica, I just want to take your bun and a fist and then slam it down like I'm mashing butter. Your dumb Jesus. mouth that I want to... <laughs> I, that it's something and I'm learning and I'm growing. I did not mean to say that I would grab her bun and smash her head up and down like I'm mashing butter onto my crotch. Charlie, who's five foot six. Oh I can beat God. the shit out of Penguin Zero. He knows it. You pussy to meet in real life. God damn, I need some W's for that, bro. D'Angelo Wallace, who's a five foot seven gay man and who's only- I don't know his background. I don't know anything about this man. I really don't care to. But but it seemed like he just needs validation from his Twitch chat. And that's that parasocial shit I be hating I talked about before. I think like three or so months ago in the video. The interaction with Sneeko was leaving a mean comment. You bum, you Lil Tekka Ellen looking at you fucking weirdo. Just another gay nerd with glasses who's probably talks the same way and snitches on people. Angela Wallace, you got me feeling some type of way, but I ain't gonna lie. Those glasses. What's well, up with you? Me. I challenge you. You want to box me, bro? Let's do a 1v1 boxing match. You say I belong to the streets. Yeah, I belong to the streets. We can rock this out on the streets or we can do it in the ring, bro. Let's box. And Ethan Klein, who look at him. Yeah, yeah. I feel really tough around these people too, Sneeko. It really takes a big man to act the way you do. <laughs> you fat, lying piece of shit. I would beat the fuck out of you, Ethan Klein. If you said that about me, you lied to my name to my face. Let's get in the ring. Stop talking shit about me and let's box. Oh, yeah. That's a top G attitude right there. Wanting to fight these people? Tough. Wanting to fight somebody your own size who's also training to box? Nah, man, let, let's just leave it online. Let's leave it to online debate. If I was any more inbred, I'd be a sandwich. Sneeko's motto is to seek truth through <laughs> funny. My motto for the stream is seek truth through funny. I believe in, ultimately, I think my philosophy is comedy is funny. I, like, I think if you follow that, you can never really be derailed. Yeah, this guy's really what? deep. It would be a great motto, what? except he what never seeks the truth mean? about anything. He usually just makes shit up and then repeats it as if it's the truth. Honest to God, this guy thinks that working out will get you banned on YouTube. He's gonna turn into like another Sneeko. He's just gonna be banned from everything. He just needs to fucking save himself. It's good that he's working out. Isn't it funny how they, they know that working out and becoming better will get you banned. That's not even what Hassan what? said. He just that says he's so made up. Th Are you serious? That's so stupid because one of the longest World of Warcraft live streamers, Bajira, he has been jabbed ever since I can remember. Probably, I think, when he first started live streaming World of Warcraft. And he was big as hell, jabbed. I think he was a bodybuilder or a powerlifter. He's now a model, and I think he does other stuff now, but he 
he has been jacked his whole life. He has ever been banned. Especially if he has been banned, it's nothing to do with his freaking body size. Like, <laughs> this is a joke. People lose weight all the time. They're not getting banned because they lost weight. Tally lost a whole bunch of weight, like, almost a decade ago at this point. He never got banned. This is just nonsense. Daquan Wiltshire, he got buff over the past few years. He has been banned, not because of him being buff. He been banned because he be riling now on some shit. But it, it be funny shit, but he, he get banned on Twitch because of that. But it's not because he got buff. It's because he riled as hell. Things all the time. Like, when is this happening? Name one time. He can't because it's not true. Yo, is this person f retarded? Yes, she's retarded. Is that the answer you're looking for? She's retarded? Yes. His comedy is funny. I, like, I think if you follow that, you can never really be derailed. Even worse is he is the most <laughs> painfully unfunny person I've ever had the displeasure of watching. This video took so long to make because he is so boring to watch. His main thing is telling people he's funny because that's what funny people do, right? Because what I'm good at Hell is a no. message. I'm good at speaking to a camera. I can crack some jokes and stuff like that. Ha ha! Woo -hoo! Ha -ha! You know what I'm saying? I'm good at entertaining you. Wow. His best bit is putting an L in front of someone's name when he dislikes them. Lorandon Luckingham. Lasanabi. Every L3 <laughs> Ethan decline. It's not even a good roast, and he had to steal this from Jidian. You know, it actually- If Morris Critical would have just put L Sneeko or Lenico or some bullshit like that, you know Sneeko would have said, Why don't you just meet me and fight me then? That's how you feel. Why don't you just meet up in person then? But then he wanna do stuff like that too. He he crazy. He he wild. That's, that's, that's where we write this up, this first part. The joke's good. It's kind of growing on me. Because you'd be Liko. Like when you cried to Brandon because he made fun of your cuck open relationship. And to my surprise, Sneeko FaceTimes me literally crying like he had just seen the worst shit in his life. He's got tears rolling down his face because I said some stuff about his girlfriend and said I'd knock him out. Like, what? You're like, you're crying? Are you, are you serious? Even when he's winning, he'd be weak up. But what if somebody's stupid? Like really stupid. They'd be uh, S. A sneak up. Yo, is this person f retarded? Leafy, leave Rico alone. La da da, a toast to the bad guy. With bad bitches, the bad times will pass by. I like Sneeko because he really is just looking out for guys like me. Being online, there's a lot of false or at the very least exaggerated sexual assault allegations. And Rico is very passionate about the Bro. subject. Real talk chat? That they, them, blue hair, whatever the fuck feminist should go to jail. You should go Whoa. to jail for lying about that. You, it should be, is it, I don't even know about the, is it a felony to lie about a felony? She should spend the night in jail, but she won't because she's a woman. I agree. Every year online, we see false allegations that do real harm to people's careers and the accusers face zero repercussions. And it ultimately makes I it agree. harder for the real victims to come forward. But what if I told yes. you Sneeko has accused his critics of doing those exact same things simply because he doesn't like them? Oh, you know who's an L man's? Cool. Brandon Buckingham. Oh, yeah. That guy that. sucks. I'm gonna ra I'm bro, literally said, I'm gonna R word your girlfriend. Yeah. Literally said that. This Are dude you said serious? he is going to R word my girlfriend. Bro, yeah. nothing warrants saying I'm gonna R word your girlfriend. That's some school shooter vibes, bro. Literally, word for word, I'm going to R word your girlfriend on his fucking public Instagram story. Brandon never said that. In fact, he didn't even allude to it. Saying you're gonna R word my Are girlfriend? You he said that. And you a next level piece of shit. <laughs> no, you you crazy as hell. You really gonna lie about something like that, but at the same time trying to flip it and make the case of us guys being falsely accused and stuff like that. You just as bad as a woman you hate. That uh, yes. Yes! No. Brandon Buckingham got in a pissing match with Sneeko in DMs, so Brandon said he was going to run a train on his girl, because Sneeko was in an open relationship at the time. He's saying that you lied and said that you, uh, he said he wanted to R-word your girlfriend. Uh, I, I said he, he said he wanted to pull up and run a train on my girl. He said me and the whole gang are going to run a train on your girl. Okay, but you said that, <laughs> you, but you said he said he R-word her. That's two different things. <laughs> the silence, bro. For real? Yeah, pulling up with a gang and saying you're going to run a train on my girl who obviously is not attracted to him. That's the R word, bro. Bro, but you nah. can't just throw the R word out like that. Like, bro, that's like false accusations. Okay, so what does that mean? Like, me and the gang are going to pull up and run a train on your girl. What is that? Well, that's like me saying, like, bro, if you keep on talking shit, I'm going to fuck your bitch. That doesn't mean, like, I'm actually going to do it. It's just talking shit. 
okay, talking shit by threatening R word. That's not the same as R word, and like, I'm not, a, I'm not gonna agree with that. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Dude is literally admitting to falsely accusing Brandon. For all the guys who were falsely accused of shit they didn't do by bitches who were lying like you, go to like, jail like right Sneeko? now. Feel bad. Like Sneeko? I know you won't. I know you're watching this too, bro. It's nice having like a little bit of clout now because they, they all watch this. You should be ashamed of yourself. Think about all the women who actually got essayed. And now the next time that's going to happen, <laughs> the next time the cops show up, maybe they're going to give him a hard time. It wouldn't be consensual. Like, she doesn't want that. And he lied and said, like, my girl, like, she was giving me the eyes of dinner and stuff like that. I'm going to pull up and, like, gangbang with it, run a train on her. And he was threatening me with that. Like, maybe it wasn't our word, but he was threatening me with that. And it's like, my girl would not be down to do that. This was the same girl that was nah. cucking him, banging other dudes right in front oh, of him. Yeah. She would take him to sex parties and he would sit there crisscross applesauce as some dude pounds <laughs> this girl on the same bed. So we go in there with Jesus. the mentality that whatever happens inside that party, it just stays at the party. Like, yeah. And so I saw her. Then why are you talking about it? If whatever happens at the party, stay at the party. Why are you talking about it, you idiot? I've, I've seen her fuck other men. I wanted to break this down, like, because this was, imagine, see, imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. Get fucked. You love her? Yeah, I do. I love it, yeah. Yeah, imagine the girl you love getting watered, pounded, spread open. She doing all types of nasty stuff that she never done for you, and you just sitting there watching it like an idiot, and you just, you agree to it, and you don't just do it once. You do it four times. And then just imagine, too, if you just were on a podcast, and just publicly talked about it after saying you had the mindset with your girlfriend that whatever happens there stays there. But 10 seconds later, you now talk about it openly as if I'm feeling feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you at all. You're an idiot. No wonder, no wonder you say the stupid shit you do. <laughs> You're a cuck. Yeah, I love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, no, nah, let me not say that. I love my... My queen. Wifey, my queen. And you allowed the love of your life to get, to get fucked it. by another man. What? So can she enjoy it? Like, what if she's enjoying it too much? That's the thing. Like, like uh, it's like she's moaning pretty loud. Like, I don't know, like how much you. I, I just I didn't but expect you to be moaning though. loud. Huh? She was moaning loud. So all right. So we we went on two different. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. We we went on two different occasions. The first this is time, a crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, I can't. I can't do that. Why you went? Why you did it again? But then he went back and watched it happen again. It should be fair that she can take other dick if I'm fucking other pussy. Like equality. That's equality. That, that's, equality. That's, that's balance. So, and so if it's gonna happen, man of honor. if it's gonna happen, I might as well see it, supervise it, make sure everything's okay. Wait, what? No, you didn't have to jump. No. To well, I don't. I, I, it's no. Worse. It's worse if I if she it happens behind my back. Like I don't want it. Like, it's not. But y'all both knowing that it's happening. So it's never behind your back anymore. You just gotta For real? I just gotta you're an idiot. You don't need to be literally in front no, of no. you. It was literally like this so far away from me. Can you? What? You are, so, twice, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Twice, oh, I thought, twice was it? My fault. I thought it was four times. I could have sworn it was four times in a previous video. My fault. I guess it was just two. Either way, he's stupid. That he, he, we're on the same bed. You, were you fucking his girl? I, I was not fucking with her now. So you just sat there Indian style with your feet crossed. So you're telling me Sneeko's girl who bangs other guys all the time as Sneeko watches wouldn't hook up with Brandon? And when I was out at dinner with Sneeko and his girlfriend in New York, she was flirting with everyone very hard, making it entirely apparent she was fair game and was seemingly down to hook up, but none of us reciprocated this behavior. Oh, okay. Maybe not, but it wouldn't be consensual. Like, she doesn't want that. And he lied and said, like, my girl, like, she was giving me the eyes of dinner and stuff like that. I'm and she you. grabbed it. She's like, I want you to fuck me. I was like, whoa. What? what? Hmm, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with what? Brandon on this one. I think that's something she'd do. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold mm. up, hold up. Eyes of dinner and stuff like that. I'm she doesn't want that. And he lied and said, like, my girl, like, she was giving me the eyes of dinner and stuff like that. I'm and she you. grabbed it. She's like, I want you to fuck me. I was like, whoa. What? what? Hmm, yeah. I she said that to another guy? What more evidence do you need? And she did it in front of your face where you could just clearly recount the story in front of other people? You a joke. I think I'm gonna go with Brandon on this one. I think that's something she'd do.
Sneeko is a cuck, oh, but did you know he's so also funny. mentally so... cucked as well? We've already seen how Sneeko will take brain dead stances, such as Hitler is not a Nazi, and that seatbelts will make you more unsafe. He does this because he's not his own man. He has to pander to the red pill. Well, this extends into his relationship with Nick Fuentes. Nick is a far right political voice, and also, according to Sneeko, his friend. Yo, hey, what's up? This is my uh, new friend, Nick Fuentes. Throughout the stream, Nick would defend his extreme views, stuff that literally goes against Sneeko's existence. How do you feel about interracial marriages? I'm, I'm against it. Ah, there you go. And that's your friend. He said it would be better if you, Sneeko, didn't exist the way you look like. Once again, he's a cuck. Yeah. What about, what about, what about you, Dijon? Do, do you believe in mixed love? Mixed love, man. Love is love, bro. I love my snow bunnies. I love my Latinos. I love my Asian girls. I gotta ask, Nick, I'm how do you feel when you see a black guy just getting with the snow bunnies? Like, is that something about like Russell's your Jimmy's? Is that something you see? The problem, the problem is uh all these white girls always end up getting their ass kicked. <laughs> what? Left behind. That's what typically happens. Oh. What the what? fuck are you talking are you, are you about? Are you asking by who? My yeah, you... black boyfriend. <laughs> oh, 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 I ain't just said it. <laughs> so you try, you trying to say we out here beating these white women? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I mean, that is something that happens. Maybe not you guys. You guys. Nick, this is your friend. Here's the thing. Nick says stuff that it's is stupid. funny, but it's not jokes. He really does mean it. I covered a story yeah. about this on my it, It's funny because it's so stupid and ridiculous. You don't see it coming. My show a couple weeks ago, but that's not the only thing. Here's the thing. I'm halfway kidding about that. The thing is, and I was halfway. Halfway. Nico, halfway. Is what? Halfway. Ha halfway. Here you go. So I said, yeah, like I'm against race mixing. Like I said to you guys right now, I said, yeah, I, d I don't approve of that. Nick Fuentes has been hanging out with Kanye a lot, and Sneeko agrees with Ye about everything. So Yo, I watched that Alice Jones episode with Kanye. It was so damn funny. It was hilarious. I've been watching Alice Jones for years, but having Kanye on there, oh, that just made it just 10 times more funnier. So it's not rare for them to be fueling Jewish conspiracies. And organized crime around the world. That's how they're able to funnel money from the U.S. government to, like, organized crime, to the cartels, to all kinds of shady things, terrorism that goes on in the world. That, that's, that's a huge part of the problem globally is, is shadow banking. And who's behind it? <laughs> well, <laughs> we talked about a sneak a lot of Jews. <laughs> He an instigator. He know exactly what he was gonna say. That's why everybody started laughing. <laughs> and who's behind it? He thinks black people, on average, are biologically dumber than everyone else. I told Sneeko this. We we call this race realism, okay? Which is to say that race is real. Like it's not it's not fake. It's not skin deep. Race is real. There are different races, and there's meaningful differences. And one of the things is that. On average, the races have different IQs. And so on average, oh. Asians have the highest IQ. And on average, Blacks have the lowest IQ. And that's why I told Sneeko. And this stupid fuck just raised his fist like he getting a medal and crossing the finish line. And no, that's average, okay? It's not, I'm not saying Black people are dumb. I'm not saying that. Kinda. I'm saying that when you average not saying that. that. You're kind of saying you that. You literally just uh, said I'm it. not. I'm saying on average. Well, I'm saying on average. <laughs> on average, there's differences between the IQs. So I believe there are black geniuses like Kanye West. I think he's a black genius. But there's fewer black geniuses than there are Asian geniuses, as okay. an example. It's not about the color of your skin or your race. It's about your morality. It's about your decision making, what's right, what's wrong, how do we treat other people. Isn't that what it all comes down to? Um, well, I mean, you could say that, but the thing is, is that, you know, human beings have a tendency to fight with each other. And, and the, you can say that, we could say that sitting down here, but what happens when, what, what would happen if you and I were living in the same house? Mm -hmm. that, that's the kind of concept. When you and I are on a Discord call, we're sort of strangers, and we're talking about ideas, that's great. But what if we're living in the same house and there's a fight over, you know, who gets to shower when, and who gets this seat oh. on the couch, and who, these are the kinds of things that happen in a dense, Wait, do you think you'd fight with him population. because he's black wait, wait, over that? I wouldn't fight about the stuff like that. And what the fuck? What the fuck? What is your, what? The answer to this question. Well, yeah, wait, would you yeah. fight more with a black person over who gets to use the shower? Yes, over... yes. And, here, and here's why. Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> See, he's funny because he's so stupid. 
Yeah. Who, but who here's do people the thing. Side with in prison? No. Hey, this is why I don't. I'm not for banning dumbasses like Nick Fuentes. I'm I'm all for letting them speak their mind because they make they expose themselves how stupid they are. White people, the people stick with the white people, black people stick with black people, and they're obviously going to fight a white person, a black person's going to fight with a white person, and a white person's going to fight with a black person over the shower. Hold on, why are we talking about prison? Because prison is where people gang up. That's when we don't have like discord, and that's where people act in their natural state. What? People are very likely to Prison is literally the least natural place you can be. You're literally locked in there with more rules than any other part of society. Fighting for your survival. You do think black and white people being together is degenerate. You do think that Jews secretly run the world. You do think that they're like race realism is like a foundational belief of, of your structure. And he actually believes that Sneeko's existence is a product of this degeneracy. Because you're right, I am a race realist and I do believe these kinds of things. Yet at the end of the call, this is what Sneeko has to say about someone who thinks he shouldn't even exist. What is your opinion? Nick and I have a very similar worldview. Nick believes a lot of- Oh what's my what's god! Going on behind the scenes. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <You're> so... <laughs> hey, you saw so Albert's reaction. He had like he got uppercut. Your Nick opinion. and I have a very similar worldview. Nick believes a lot of the yeah. that's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> the, Nick really, if the, I listened to this whole call, I don't think he said anything that makes you want to cancel him. I think he's a good guy. Are you serious? Is he really oh, being that? Yo, that's God. crazy. Yeah, oh, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's that's crazy. crazy. That's that's I'm not even gonna lie. If you he had his stupid. way, and he had. First off, you wouldn't even exist because you're the basis of an interracial marriage. So whatever you kind of prescriptive idiot. ideas that he's got for the world, yeah. you are literally an individual that wouldn't exist in it. Mentally. Punk, dumbass. In a constant state of fear and misery, do you miss me anymore? Sneeko is actually a really sad case because even though we'll brag about his financial success and how much more popular he is, I have made more money in the past two months than I made in the past three years. I'm doing well, and I got there last year by going from broke to a millionaire in 2022. Biggest year of my life, craziest year of my life, cancellation, all that. Started with a million subscribers, ended with no YouTube channel, but a million dollars. He's actually lost a lot. His views have dropped dramatically, often not For even real. hitting 10K. He talks about the red pill and bots so much, his family doesn't even invite him over for Christmas anymore. Like I didn't, this was the first Christmas I didn't go home because of my association with Ye. Because Ye was talking about, um, they, they called him anti-Semitic, they lied about him. And so my association with the people that you want to have on a panel, like Nick Fuentes mm -hmm. and Ye, that, that pushed me away. They're like, I don't, we don't want you to, to talk about this. All he's got to do is act like a normal person while home for the holidays. And he can't. He's got to talk about how they're vaccinated and they voted for Biden. Wait, so like your mom? <laughs> my family, just like my whole family. Really? Your whole family? Yeah. All oh, vaccinated, all Biden voters, all Ukraine, you know. Oh, stop it. Can you yeah. red pill some Who cares? of them? I think we all have at least one family member that doesn't know how to shut up and act normal while home for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Well, Sneeko is that guy. I still love them, of course, and I, I'm sure they still love me, but the reason is like they just wouldn't be able to handle a conversation at the dinner table because, mm -hmm. you know, well, people don't know how to have discourse. Mm -hmm. They don't know how it's... Well, don't have the conversation. You'll need to have a conversation. You'll need to have a conversation with everybody, especially your family. To disagree health at thanksgiving please they get so emotionally involved and they want to live in their delusion they, they want to be like the facker who's saying i'm perfect the way i am ah there it is wow. you know what there's something poetic about sneeko by embracing the red pill and eating that tate taint sneeko was able to become <laughs> rich my life has started to change for the better i've made more money in the last two months than i made in the past two years but in return he's lost his youtube channel his girlfriend cucked him and now he's spending the holidays alone I have a good community around me my, I've been saying in my chat, that's why my Rumble stream has been doing so well. Like my chat's my family. Like I, that's what I look forward to every single night. Jeez. It's New Year's Eve and I'm just excited to get on the stream, see all the same like usernames that I see. I talk to them all the time. So that, that's my, that's the family right now. That, that's, that's who Jeez. I uh, spend the most time with. Bro, this is. Damn, that is pretty sad. Damn, I almost feel bad for the fuck. Damn, that's pretty sad because we always see the viewership going down. So those names that he's so used to seeing over the, the years or the past few months or year and a half since he blown up, that shit gonna eventually disappear if he keep going on his bullshit. And he gonna notice it. And he gonna have nothing. Like, damn, I almost feel bad for him. But that's not, that's not something I wish on anybody. No matter how stupid he is. Sad. All the money in the world living in Miami in his chat is all he's got. The dude's literally the Scrooge. In this lonely, painful life. <laughs> This lonely I actually want to end this video by finding some common ground with Sneeko, because he has said one thing that I agree with. The alpha male. I know I'm not. 
I know Good. I'm not. I've never fucking once called myself that. One other thing I want to bring up is Sneeko's list. Uh, it's just a bunch of people that have bullied him in the past. Hey, look at the soy boy collage. We added two to the top. Did you guys see there's another uh, another hippies video on me from another soy boy? Imagine getting bullied by this guy. Well, I want to introduce my cook boy list. Sneeko is the only guy I know that wants five wives but can't seem to get one. That's insecurity. I'm deeply afraid of somebody calling me a pussy. You're a pussy. There. I why are you so mentally fragile where somebody saying that would just throw you off so bad you're afraid of it happening before it even happens? And people follow this motherfucker and they're quote unquote influenced by him? Get it together. I helped you overcome your fear. Shout out to the bots over on Patreon. Phoebe's Crimson Glass, Zombie Fox, Riveter, Christina Vina, Detective P. Yo, I think that's the end of the video. So I'll just wrap it up by saying. Shout out to the content creator. I'll link his video in the description below. This was a really good video. I was thoroughly entertained. I was supposed to cut this in half in exactly 20 minutes, but I was just enjoying myself so much. I just said, screw it and just kept going. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy Logos, and I'll talk to y'all next time.